Hey, okay, quick question. Why is there a 10th Saw movie coming out? We really are having sequels for odd and non-understandable reasons, but since it can be argued that a Saw series ended in a, in a somewhat satisfying way a few years ago, this movie release asks for more questions. I mean, there have been a number of Saw movies, and sure, it's because it's a bloody thriller, and who wouldn't like that? I guess if you don't like bloody thrillers, actually. But anyway, the first time we was something of a small independent thriller, having not that much high of a budget, having a script written in a small way, and a set of a dirty bathroom being the main one. And yeah, the few sequels out of that were great and really added to the lore. But I think somewhat along the way, it got out of hand. It's really come to a point where I only watch the movies for Doofenshmirtz style traps, more than just an actual story. You may have a different style movie where this is true for each one of you. But yeah, it's hard to say that these movies don't start to get confusing in the third act for no reason. Like, you know, oh, plot twist. Oh, this is actually what's happening. What? Like, seriously, that's like four of the movies. What I mean by the third act confusion is that in later movies, a very popular twist is that the event of the story actually takes place in the past for some reason. Like, they seem to get convoluted with its timeline. Honestly, I'm never a fan when a movie has to, like, skip between movies. Like whether it's in between movies 6 and 7, or before 9 and after 8, but it's after 7, but in the middle of 7.5, it just starts to get convoluted for no reason. I'm fine with twists like these, but it starts to get a bit of a one trick pony. If we have to keep making charts about everything that happens, why would we keep paying attention? Like I don't know if they're alive or not. We probably kill them, but then have us a flashback. Rather than just progressing forward with the story or start anew, we continue with the tropes of John Kramer and what wacky trap he's got set up and who he recruited for his pig fan club. I mean, this is the 10th film and it's set between Saw 1 and 2. Why? Like, why? The last Saw movie was 6 years ago. Unless you count Spiral, which the main concept being used is that it takes place in the past. Like, dude, what are we doing? Okay, now I know there's some previous actors coming back, not just John Kramer. But yeah, unless they do something unique with the aspect, then I just really don't see the point of doing this again. I mean, who knows, maybe John will reveal that he left an AI clone of himself in Mexico to continue his just making Home Alone traps. Now, I'm, I don't hate all the films, like, I still will watch it, like, it's fun seeing the unique ways that people will learn their lesson. But if we keep tangling our wires in the timeline jumping story that we're in, then it just starts to become distracting for me in the end. But hey, it'll probably be fun.